Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. Thank you for joining me in the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In this video, we're going to pick up where we left off from the previous video by showing you some of the basics of integrating a ClickSense Analytics app with a Click Automate workflow. Now, if you remember in the previous video, I demonstrated a completed example that sends a dynamic message to a customer based on the findings of their order. Now, let's jump right into the basics. Okay, so we're going to jump into this simply and I'll continue on with more advanced capabilities within multiple parts of this video series. So on my canvas, I'm just going to grab a button. I'm not going to worry too much about styling it. Then I'm going to go to add action. For the action, select execute automation. Now, if I click on this drop down list, it's going to show me the automations that I have access to. So understand that you have to have access to click automate you'll notice I have an automation here called send customer message. It's completely blank. My start block is going to be changed to triggered. I'm not going to go into so much about any of these settings at the moment. I can tell you that what you are going to do is set this as run mode triggered so it can be kicked off from the button. And then I'm going to grab the Microsoft Outlook send mail block. Now I already have my connection configured for this and there's additional settings and inputs. In this video, we're just gonna hard code everything so you can get the idea. I have an email called Donkey Kong Click at outlook.com. Subject, this is a test. Type HTML, and then I'm just gonna type in some tags here Okay, so the header tags, I'll finish that just like that. And that's the content body. And then I'm just going to save it. So you can see the name of this automation is send customer message video. So when we go back to the button, we're going to select the automation. And I'm just going to search for send customer message. And sometimes if it's not there, you need to refresh. So I'm just refreshing the page, clicking my button, execute automation, send, and there it is, send customer message video. I'm not going to worry about include selections and all that stuff. We'll cover that in another video. Run mode triggered allows every user to run automation by pressing this button. So you have to set run mode triggered because when you publish this app and if you put it into like a managed space, only users who have access to that automation will be able to run it. This ensures that any user can run that automation. And that's pretty much it. That's all we need. So I'm just going to go into like our view mode. I click the button and then we switch over to my email. And this is the account for Donkey Kong Click. And there it is. This is a test in the subject and hello world. Okay, so that's as simple as it can get for this hello world example, if you will, you have the button kicking off a automation. Now in the next video, we're going to go through this using parameters and data from the click cloud analytics report.